In this video, we are going to look at the new trace functionality which has been introduced. So, for transaction is STA, ST auth trace, call ST auth trace, click enter. So, now what you want, what you can do is you can just put a user ID here, let us say Selba and then you can just activate the trace. Okay. You can also say system wide trace, that means it is going to act uh, system wide, it is going to trace. Okay. So, activate the trace, once it is done, just deactivate the trace. So, once this uh, trace is deactivated uh, and then you want to analyze, just put the user ID here. Make sure you delete the time because you do not want uh, time to be there. So make sure you put filter duplicates, okay. then now execute. So, this is much more you know structured view. So, for example, if you want to uh, filter, right. say if I let this filter, let us say you want to just check on this particular object TCD. Now, you can just see exactly what transactions have been executed, right. <coughs> so, you can also download this, and then have a much better view, right, much better view of uh, how this uh, report is generated, right. So, <coughs> pre previously uh, the report uh, it will be in a text mode, so it is not easy to download. So, now you can clearly see this whether the authorization has been successful, unsuccessful, all this has can be easily identified. Uh, and also you can download in a spreadsheet and then once you download a spreadsheet you can analyze the data. Uh, thanks for watching the video, please click on the link below to uh, uh, download a step by step guide. Thank you.